Hello, ladies and gentlemen. This is Mad Panda 503, also known as Alex, or vice versa. It does not matter in the Call of Duty world. Anyway, um, I'm today I'm bringing you actually a search and destroy gameplay. Um, as you can see, I fast forward the first round because I died right away, and yeah, we lost that round. So I don't pick this guy off on resistance, search and destroy. I always like going up here. There's usually one or two. This is when we're defending the bombs, by the way. Um. And this is where I go. Sometimes they come out that door. Sometimes they come down the stairs. It all depends on, you know, the lobby, of course. But today I'm playing with uh, my friend Sith Blades, also known as Ivan. And I'm going to leave a link to his channel because he's a really wonderful guy and you should check him out. Um, so shout out to you, Sith Blades, if you're watching. <laughs> anyway, um, so yeah, um, I'm just going back and forth, just making sure they're not planting. Uh, I normally don't play Search and Destroy, it's not my favorite game mode, but as you can see, I prestige, like, today, and I'm level, I think, 31, on um, my 7th prestige, and I want to level up, and leveling up, uh, how to level up, you can, you know, very quickly, is playing Search and Destroy. I always find myself paranoid and getting all, trying to figure out where they are. But, anyway, my class setup is an MP7, of course, and, like, I think I said this in my previous video, but... When I prestige my third time, I believe, I use the, my prestige token on the unlock gear to get. Oh, and yeah, I thought I was the last one standing here, but I uh, see my teammate on the mini map is already there, so I'm gonna go back to A. But so I unlocked the gear and I got um the MP7 because it's one of my favorite guns, and I don't want to wait uh, until whatever level 70 something until I get it. Um, it's one of the best uh, submachine guns in my opinion, but. Today I have it silenced. I don't have anything else really unlocked for it yet. Um, I think I have a FMG9, but I don't use it during this game mode. Oh, there he is. Ooh, he's going for it. Seconds left on the clock. Oh, get you. Anyway. I th we weren't really playing all crazy. We were just defending each flag and or each bomb site. And I'm pretty sure our teammate knew not to leave that bomb site just to be safe. Um, uh, for my... As you can see, I also have a uh, concussion grenades here and a uh, stem tax. I didn't really, you know, think this class through, so trust me, I wouldn't use this one really. Um, there's some things I would change. I'm using sleight of hand, I believe. I'm also using, uh, excuse me, assassin and steady aim. But if I, you know, could change it again for a search and destroy class, I would use blind eye. Assassin was correct. Um, assassin's a good choice. Um, next time I would pick Dead Silence because I am very, very loud. And in Search and Destroy, you have to go into game chat. Uh, which means you can talk to everyone, even on your opponent, uh, on your enemy's team. So, I like being quiet. And I usually, actually, if I'm not playing, if I'm playing Search and Destroy, which is not very often, by myself especially, um, I mute everyone. I just want to concentrate, and use my headset to try and hear them. But most people do run dead silence, and it, it and for good reason. Um, so no, I'm just being a little campish whore here. <laughs> I'm trying to find them. Um, see if they're dumb enough to come down here twice, which they obviously are not. I think I have a few teammates left. I hate defending. I love being aggressive and attacking them. But then you run into what I'm doing now, camping. Kind of, but I'm just kind of patrolling this upper area here. That's what I like to do. It looks like someone sees me. Oh, wrong place to shoot. Oh, he has me. Oh, come on, run away. Is he following me? Is he coming up the stairs? No, he's not. I hear him. I hear him down here. Oh, there he is. And pop. Get my UAV. And I thought I heard someone else up here. Maybe not. Oh, I see my teammate died over there. I'm the last one alive. Oh, and there he is. Long shot. Can I do it? Oh, yes, I can. Oh, that was gorgeous. Um... I mean, this isn't the best Search and Destroy game, don't get me wrong, it's a little campish, it's not, Search and Destroy is not that exciting to watch, in my opinion, I mean, before I started trying to make videos, I never typed in, Search and Destroy, let's see what to do, it's mainly for throwing knife spots, actually, uh, I did find three throwing knife spots on resistance, uh, for use of, uh, I think two, yeah, two of them are for, um, the sea flag, uh, how to defend sea flag with a throwing knife, it's, it's awesome. Um, oh yeah, kill streaks. I'm using UAV care package, of course here. Um, this was just random. I threw these together just very fast because I even 
with blades, Ivan, um, hit me up and was like, let's play some search. And so I was like, okay, give me one second to get a class together. And I kind of didn't really do it well. So I see this guy in here. Again, IMS in that care package, which isn't what I was honestly hoping. I was hoping for a predator or something else. But I see him there. Ooh, he killed my teammate. Let's go get him. Ooh, he's behind the car. I can't make it there. Let's get out of here. Hopefully he follows me and runs into my IMS, which was not the smartest place, but I would have put it right inside the door. I'm wondering if he's coming up here, seeing if another teammate's there. Ooh, ooh, thank God he's alive. Uh, get that guy from long distance, get my predator. And it's only us two. Uh, Sith Blade was playing with the Spaz 12, I believe, so he died. Um... I think my teammates, yeah, my teammates planting the bomb at B right now, and there it goes. Uh, I don't know how many are left on the enemy team. I think two, maybe, but I'm not sure. But I'm the last one alive right now. I'm, I hate being the last one alive. I'm going to use my predator to get a general sense. I see one's in the house over there. Um, and I get that one who was the closest to me, uh, near the bomb. So one's in the house. Uh, I throw a grenade over here, thinking that he was over here, maybe. Came around, but... Looks like he's in the house. I'm being cautious around it. Try and make a dash for it. Seeing if he came around this way to kind of, you know, defuse it. Um, not positive. <laughs> um, when the bomb is uh planted, I don't, uh, I don't play much search. I don't know. Well, it goes off there anyway. Um, I don't know if it uh indicates, you know, where, which one has been planted, which one you have to defuse. I don't really know. Hey, there's Fernie, another homie. Um, no, I'm going back this way because I know this guy just loves this little store area. Um, actually, a throwing knife that I have. You know that throwing knife clip? If you've seen it, it's a previous video I have. I'm trying to recreate it to see if I can do it generally to try and get those snipers out of that area. Ooh, and I think he was here. Oh, bad stem text. This is not the best search and destroy. Um. But here he is in the corner. Ooh, ooh, run away. Screw that. And this is where this example right here is why a headset's so important. If you want to play Search and Destroy, especially, but. And there goes my sink. <laughs> in the background, if you can hear that. But there he is. See, I didn't know which way it was coming from after for me. Um, and that headset definitely t helped me. I'm using, uh, if you're interested, uh, Turtle Beaches uh, X12s, the newest models, uh, the upgraded version from X11s, the popular white ones, um, would I buy them again? Probably, uh, they're, ch ooh, this is close, I'm just shooting frantically, oh, I get so paranoid and search and destroy, um, I don't know if I would buy them again, I mean, if I had the money off, of course, I would buy a much better headset, but they're, they're not bad, they're $60, um, actually, if you go to a, uh, you know, your local electronics store might have a sale on it. Like my buddy of mine went to a local uh, electronics store and got him for, I think, $40, which annoyed me. But anyway, as you can see, this gameplay is wrapping up. We have the bomb planted right there at B, and I'm just seeing if this guy's trying to go and defuse it somehow or go somewhere. We have a portable radar there. Oh, and I don't even look at my minimap. Oh, okay, that's my buddy. There he is, Sith. Anyway, um, looks like I see my teammates looking down there even, so I don't know what's going on here. I don't think this guy can do it. I just get on my FMG and shoot like mad because we won. <laughs> um, and I get a decent score. Uh, it's seven for one, I believe. Um, so guys, if you enjoy this kind of gameplay, um, I'm not gonna be posting much search and destroy, but if you want me to now and then, just leave a comment and tell me. Um, got some challenges done there. So guys, if you like my videos, please, please rate them. It helps me out a lot. Um, leave a comment asking me, you know, what's new and subscribe. Peace.